What's up guys, welcome back for another video. Today, we will be ranking in apple cake brands from Taiwan. We've got seven famous brands from Taiwan, varying from Taipa, Ime, Chime, Sunny Hills, and many more. And we are going to try them all out. And we will rank them by taste, depending on how good these products are, packaging, how pretty these are all wrapped up, if it's very presentable, can you give it as a gift, as a souvenir to your friends and family and relatives? Lastly, the price. Is it worth the buying? So without further ado, let's eat a lot of pineapple cake. First pineapple cake is Tiata. Packaging is pretty nice. There's 12 pieces in this box. Comes with this gold garter that keeps the box closed. Inside we have these cute 12 pineapple pastries and it's been here since 1975. I like the texture of the filling. It's not super jammy, so you can feel the chunks and fibers of the pineapple. The crust is also flaky, which I love. It's not super dry, it's not that moist, so it's kind of like perfect. Uh, I recommend that you inform your relatives or whoever you're going to buy these for that you've got about a month of shelf life because they have less preservatives in, in these. Taste, I would say this is like a 7 out of 10. Is it worth it? I'd say yes. Uh, I'm gonna go for like 9 out of 10 for how much this is worth. For the packaging, I do like it. It's It's got the brand, the picture. What else are you going to ask for? Red and gold seems to be like a good color combination if you want to send something that seems a little more fancy. I'd say 7 out of 10. On to the next one. The second pineapple cake brand that we have is Vigor Kobo. I really appreciate how cute the box looks. So this box is slightly cheaper than the first one. Not a big diff, but there's only 10 pieces inside. Packaging. It's so cute. Let's try them out. I am excited. At first, I was worrying that I couldn't differentiate all the pineapple cakes. But there's a difference between the first one and this one. You could taste it. I mean, it's not that bad. It's good. I love that they aren't like super sweet means they didn't add a lot of sugar. But the jam, jam here tastes different. The crust, very crumbly, very crumbly, as you can see. And um, it's kind of dry. So first bite, it actually just absorbed all of my saliva. <laughs> so I need water. Okay, let's rate it. From the taste, I would say it's a six out of 10. It's still good. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a bit dry because the crust is a little too big, so... And the jam, I prefer moister pineapple cakes than jello-ish. Packaging, I love the packaging. It's like a... It's like an 8.5 for me. It's super cute. It's pink. Not a lot of brands can pull off pink. I'm just gonna say that. Plus, I love the patterns. One look, you know that it's pineapple cake. I, I would love to give this to relatives or family members when I get back to from Taiwan because these are so cute and decently priced. On to the next one. Next one is from Ime. It looks like it's from like a grocery store. It's something you could buy off a grocery store. It looks like a biscuit. That's the vibe that I'm getting from here. But if it's an apple cake from Taiwan, you can try it. This is the cheapest out of all of the brands that I bought. The individual packaging, it's pretty cute, I'd say. It looks like a candy. It's not bad. It's sweet. But it's not bad. I'd say it's a good snack for you to munch on, but not exactly like a souvenir that you want to give to your family or like relatives. For the taste, I'd say 4 out of 10. It's 
because it's a little too sweet for me. Price? I'd say 10 out of 10. This is like super affordable. Super affordable. I think it's worth buying when you want pineapple cakes. Something you want to snack on while you're at the office. This is definitely a go-to without hurting your wallet. Packaging? I want to say like 4 or 2. Because it does look like candy. So I'm not that impressed. It looks like cookies that you'd buy from a grocery store. And I would say you can buy these at grocery stores. Um, it's pretty cute. But it's not something that I want to send as a gift for someone. The fourth one we got this purple box from Tiochenan, and I love it. It looks expensive. Purple has always been the color of royalty. Plus, it has that gold accent saying "pineapple cake, handmade pastry." I already feel like I'm going to love this. Oh my god! Take a look at this. I'm excited to try one. So it's still packed. I'm, I'm happy with this brand. I'm happy with this. <laughs> Crust, super moist. I love the texture, like grainy texture of it. This is the best pineapple filling so far. And the best crust. Taste. I don't want to give a 10 out of 10, so I'm going to put like a 9.5. <laughs> yeah, I love the combination of the crust and the filling. Balances each other out. Plus, it's not dry. It's not super flaky. For the packaging, I'd say it's a 10 out of 10. I mean, this looks luxurious. I would send this to everybody if I have that kind of money. For the price, I'd say it's pretty worth it. I'd give this a 10. I'd recommend you to buy this. It's so freaking good. Next, we have a Sunny Hill. We got two. So this is the apple cake and this is the pineapple cake. So Sunny Hills has been an iconic brand in Taiwan. I send Sunny Hills to all of my friends and family members. That's how much I love this brand. I love their packaging. The clean, minimalist aesthetic. It's something I really love about this brand. It's clean, it's simple, a little chunkier than the normal pineapple cake. So it's rectangular, it's elongated, and it has quite of a width. Iconic. I just love Sunny Hills. I might be biased about this review. Can I get, can you, can you be patient? One thing that's always been standing out for me is the filling has a lot of pineapple fibers like you can see the strands of the pineapple fibers coming out of the this piece of pineapple cake the outside crusty flaky but not dry which i love it's a little bit more moist than usual than the other <laughs> can you can people even see me now nugget can people even see me now Not a good boy Good boy, now stay, okay? People can't see my board anymore. I know Sun Hills doesn't put any preservatives on it as well. That's why I could taste like a little bit of sour in that filling. A little sweet, a little sour. For taste, I'm gonna give it like a 9 out of 10. Packaging, I love the minimalist style. So it for me, it's iconic to see Sun Hills, the simplicity of it. It's not that grand, but it's something cute to send to friends. I would say it's like an 8, 8.5. And is it worth it? Yes, I buy Sunny Hills pineapple cake all the time. I recommend it 100%. Down to the second to the last box. This is from Shimei, but it does feel a little expensive because of the black and gold accents right here. And then it slides out. Honestly, I kind of like how this feels because there's like a sheet covering it. This is absolutely adorable. So there's a postcard inside. You could send a little message 
which I love, especially when you're sending gifts to your friends or family or whoever you want. It's a cute present. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the filling. Oh, now that I take, took a look at the ingredients, there were... There's a pineapple and winter melon paste in there. I think that made sense. Taste, I'd say it's a six. The winter melon, <laughs> the winter melon paste. Once you know it's there, it kind of makes sense on why the filling tastes like that. Packaging, I'd say it's a 9.5 out of 10. I love these individual packs. They're so cute, so adorable. I love the aesthetic of the outside. It's black, white, gold. I kind of want to say like it's a 6 over 10 when it comes to um, how it's worth. Is it worth it? Not that, not that much. I mean, shut up. On to the last pineapple kick, cause I'm starting to get full and um, a little bit exhausted from all the sugar uh, and pineapple cakes that I'm consuming within the hour. Last one is from Shenzhen Bakery. It has the it looks. Your one curious doggo. Ooh. So the packaging's pretty nice, not gonna complain about it. I like it. I like the filling, I like the crust. There are chunks of pineapple in it. The packaging, the package, each like a piece of it. A little bit hard to open. Okay, taste, I'd say it's an 8 out of 10. I like how it is. I, I like pineapple cakes that has fibers in it. That's why I prefer this one, like similar with Sunny Hills and the other pineapple cakes that I ranked higher. Packaging, I'd say it's a nine. I'd say it's a nine. <laughs> I love the outside. I just really struggled with opening one of these. But is it worth it? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty worth it. I'd say 8.5 or nine. So that's it. Ranking all seven Taiwanese brands and their pineapple cakes. If you're visiting Taiwan, let me know what Taiwanese pineapple cake brand you're going to choose. Make sure to check out my DIY pineapple cake video as well, where we made our own pineapple cake from scratch. Let me know your thoughts, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for more updates. See you guys in the next video. Bye!